Okay, so I can't verbally express how excited I'm right now. This project has been my dream from like the beginning of my YouTube channel. And thanks to the Odin, now I'm able to conduct this particular experiment and share it with you. Uh, something always stood in the way, and whether it would be a financial problems or the inaccessibility of the biology materials, because the biology is a bitch and you can't always find these resources. But it turns out, if you look well, you can. And now I'm able to conduct this experiment in, in the comfort of my home. So, what is this particular stuff that I'm doing right now, if you're interested? We can just get started. And I hope you like this video, and let's get into it. So this weird stuff you see over here is Agrobacterium. Agrobacterium is naturally occurring plant pathogen, which utilizes plant nutrients to thrive and reproduce. The way it works at the same time is quite easy on a cellular level and insanely hard on a molecular level. In order to utilize this amazing creature, scientists have swapped out the original plasmid, which introduces tumors and replaced it with the genome interest. Let's say, for example, you want to produce some additional proteins inside of a plant, or you just want to add pigment and change the natural color of the plant. That's basically what we do here. You'll need to add specific gene responsible for pigment synthesis and first we'll transform the agrobacterium and introduce newer plasmid. And only after that you'll introduce agrobacterium to plant leaf. After the injection occurs, bacteria will migrate towards the individual cells and will send out tiny pieces of DNA. After the transfection, your plant will be able to express not only its natural proteins, but also proteins first transcribed and then translated from the introduced DNA sequence. Okay, so this is a plant that we're gonna transform. It's, it's as you can see, the Monstera, and more specifically, it's Monstera adansoni species. Generally, as Monsteras are all monocots, it's harder and genuinely harder to transform. Their leaves are more, how should I say, hard and are more complicated. But I had some success with the potters, so I think it will work as well. So we'll see. And it's also just like a scientific curiosity. I'm not trying to solve them or to like make a profit from them or something like that so it's just for the interest so this is our cute monster as any molecular biology project initiates we also have to do some routine work this time we're making an LB media with the mix of appropriate amount of antibiotics always use the distilled water it's just a good scientific practice and will raise the success rate of your experiment drastically as a tap water usually has some chlorine which will suppress the microbial growth sterilization is always the key after your media gets dissolved into your water just throw it inside of your gorilla pressure cooker and sterilize at high pressure for 30 minutes after you cook your media nice and well just take it out as soon as possible so it won't get solidified Wait till it goes down to 50 degrees Celsius and add your antibiotic. So when you order the kit from the oven, you'll receive the freeze-dried agrobacterium, which will be ready to use, meaning that the genome interest is already inserted. So you won't have to do any transformation, of course, unless you want to deliver any other additional plasmid. So we want our vector to be as active as possible because when the cells are actively dividing the efficiency of transformation is way higher. In order to do so I'm just replating my precultured agar plate and waiting for one or two days for it to form separate colonies. You will also receive a small tube of injection media comprised of certain pH regulatory buffers such as MES magnesium chloride for better efficiency of agrobacterium transformation and vanillin. So now we dissolve 1000 microliters of injection media into 50 milliliters of distilled water. Mix it well and then for a single injection we will transfer 4 milliliters of this media into a separate tube. Here I'm basically making the control media 
The purpose of it is to see whether my genome interest really got expressed or whether it is just a common coincidence. So the control media won't have any bacteria inside of it and the other one will have it. Now take up quite a large amount of agrobacterium with your sterile inoculation loop and put it in a plastic. Mix it well and we're all ready to go. And here comes the fun part. It's time to genetically engineer some plants. Isn't it amazing the fact that you're able to do this type of project on your own and see the actual results? Like, I think it's so freaking cool. And now take your premixed injection media with agrobacterium vector mixed with it. Take the syringe of your liking and use it to distribute the liquid inside of a plant leaf. Make a little wound on a spot where you want to inject, and that will help the plant to absorb media way easier. Now put your syringe tip on a leaf evenly, and don't forget to use gloves and some glasses for protection. Gently apply the pressure and let the liquid get in. And voila, you basically engineered your own plant. And now it's time to wait and see the results. It will take roughly 5 or 6 days for plants to synthesize newly received DNA. And if it's successful, you'll see tissues get red. Just like this. For my plant, it took roughly one week to synthesize newly integrated small segment of plasmid. And I assume it was because of the specific plant I engineered. I've also tried it on epiprenum species and the expression was quite even. Actually better than one on Monstera. Keep in mind that you can always subculture the engineered plant and clone the plant which will be entirely modified. Aka a whole plant will be able to synthesize new protein and that's what I'm going to do next. Once again, huge thanks to the Odin for enabling me to do this amazing project and you should definitely check their work on their website. They do amazing work when it comes to enabling people to experience science from different degree and enabling individuals to discover the unknown of molecular biology and genetics. If you'd like to kit to engineer plant, I will leave the link below. To sum up, this project was a bliss, and I should say that it's just the beginning. Many other amazing stuff is on its way, so stay tuned, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you and see you next time. Bye!